Today we're going to tie the rabbit flesh fly. It's a really easy fly to tie. It only uses a handful of materials. We're going to start today with a Mustad 3906B hook. So we're going to start by wrapping our material all the way back to the bend of the hook. Then like always, make sure you add some head cement. Next we're going to take our rabbit zonker strip and if your strip is squared off at the end like so, go ahead and trim off the shorter hairs. This will leave your zonker strip looking nice and tapered at the end. Next you want to measure out your tail. Usually it's about the same length as the hook. Then you want to pull the fibers back in the area that you're going to tie in the zonker strip to expose the skin. Then we lay our zonker strip on top of the hook shank and tie that in. Next, we pull the zonker strip back to expose the hook shank and wrap our thread to about a quarter of an inch from the eye of the hook. Next, we want to palmer our rabbit strip up the hook shank. We will hold the tail firmly with our fingers while we wrap to ensure that it does not spin on the hook. As we palmer, make sure to sweep the hairs back with your fingers to ensure that they are angled backwards. Once we've reached our thread, we want to capture our rabbit strip with the thread with a couple wraps to secure it. Then you can cut the excess rabbit strip. Once your rabbit strip is cut, then you want to pull all the fibers back away from the eye of the hook. You may now proceed to build a tapered head on the hook. We will now whip finish the fly and cut the excess thread. You can either put head cement, super glue, or what I like to do is UV epoxy the head of these flies. This will give it a nice look and ensure that the thread does not move. Once your epoxy is cured, the fly is done. With the rabbit fur, this fly will almost breathe in the water. It's a really nice looking fly and moves quite a bit. If you like what you see, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Enjoy tying and go catch some fish.